I'm really excited to have the guys here for a new series coming up in Barrie called Cronenberg Creek. So that's a horror comedy series. So, Nick, tell us all about it, because this is kind of your brainchild, right? Okay, Cronenberg Creek. Um, we're doing a horror comedy series, uh, all based on the 80s, all 1980s style, like possessed dolls, zombies, all that great stuff. We're going to be playing on campiness, real cheesy. <laughs> 80s horror, that, that greatness, that, 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 that thing that you just love about horror, that's what we're going to bring into this series. Now, I grew up on horror movies. Stephen King was like predominantly the one uh, that was in my household. So Pet Cemetery, one of my all-time favorite Absolutely. movies. It scared the crap out of me, still <laughs> does. Now, John Miori, uh, you're kind of a familiar face to the, the horror film scene. Yeah, where, where, extent, have you, sure. where have we seen you? Um, anywhere from being a background extra in things like Dawn of the Dead to um, bigger roles in independent films like uh, Jesse James Lawman or uh, uh, Raiders of the Lost Shark. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, why, why were you drawn to <laughs> horror films? Uh, I kind of grew up on famous monsters of film land and late night horror movies and it was just always something that... Uh, We've got a shot of you here. Yeah, yeah. Is that on Dawn of the Dead? That is from a short that I did uh, called, and they're going to be mad that I don't remember. <laughs> oh, yeah, The, the Last Mile. That's the, last the Last Mile. mile. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> is this you as well? Yeah, that's from a movie called Sick that was filmed in Toronto. <laughs> so zombies are your specialty, basically. I've done about 30 zombie movies. Really? Yeah, uh, including, you know, both features and shorts. So can give us our, teach us how to be the best zombie possible. You know, I've actually taught zombie courses at, on sets where the director will say, you know, do you think you could, you know, pull everybody aside and talk to them? And the, the best information I can give is what George Romero said to myself and others on the set of uh, Land of the Dead and Survival of the Dead. He said that uh, the best thing that you can do is to take something that you know already doesn't work so good, like an arm or a leg, and, and you know it, it emphasize that rather than um, me telling you what to do, because what will happen is we'll have everybody looking like they're doing the same thing, and it'll be a little <laughs> synchronized dance. Okay. So yeah, it was more so more along that your line. Absolutely. That's it. Find your inner zombie were his exact words. I love it. Yeah. Justin McWhirto, you're the cinematographer. So talk to me about uh, sort of the building uh, process. How do you see the scenes playing out? Um, a lot of suspense. It's a lot of dark humor. When Nick sent me the script and I read it, I was, this is me. Like, it's my style too. Like, we're kind of on the same page with how it's going to turn out. Um, yeah, basically, just a lot of quick shots, a lot of action kind of is what I'm thinking. All right. Now, Justin Ashby, you are an actor uh, in the series as well. I try. <laughs> you try. Is this your first role? Uh, yeah, first, like, legitimate role as, like, you know, actually being on the air, like, you know, considered when you hear the, you hear the director go, action, you're like, well, okay, you know, and you get, like, right into this character role. I mean, I've, I've been on TV before. I was on a TV show once, and then it was, like, a thing on MTV, you know what I mean? But it was never anything like this. So it's a lot, it's a lot of fun, because I'm really, really into the whole accents and getting into a different character and like as a, as a child I was always doing like English accents and you let's, know, let's like, hear your best uh, your oh, best limey accent it. the best blimey thing I think I've got is uh, you know I'm, what's the line that we use in the, in the, in the script man you know what I mean it's like you, you turn it on and you turn it off and it just kind of immediately happens and you don't really think about so it. You can be English and you really don't even have to say anything. It's, yeah. it's all about the mannerisms that you yeah, right. right? Because the I think most of the time it's when I speak with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way you carry yourself. And you have and to cross your legs a certain way too. Oh, very much. It's, elegant. <laughs> it's, all, it's, all, about, it's all about the proper, proper ways. Yeah. Good for you. So, so Nick, obviously our uh, our title is pay our title is paying homage to uh, one of our Canadian greats. Yes, yes, Mr. Cronenberg. Uh, David Cronenberg, one of my favorite, favorite all-time filmmakers. We do that a lot in the show. Every single uh, character name is named after somebody from the 80s, like somebody who was in an 80s horror movie, uh, 80s characters, 80s actors, things like that. Awesome. We've got a, we've got a clip, actually, a little teaser right of what people can expect to see. Okay. Justin, do you want to set it up for us? Um, I put this together the other night, so I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little tiny taste. Let's take a look.
from the twisted mind of Canadian filmmaker Nick Heinrichs Jr. Help me, man. What the hell happened to you? Help me, daughter. Now, why don't you tell me exactly what happened? We were driving down f side road five, and then we blew a tire. And I got out to change it, but damn it, I forgot to bring a spare. And then this truck pulls up, so you know, I think we're in luck. And this pig starts swinging his axe like it's nothing, and I, I got scared, and so I, I ran, and, and that's when I found this place. Cannibal Christmas Massacre. If you ever need any voiceover actors, I think I could be pretty intimidating. <laughs> So uh, I see a huge presence uh, with our local businesses and local entrepreneurs. Absolutely, yeah. So what kind of role do they play in uh, helping uh, the series get, get they, to film? They're basically the backbone of everything that we're doing right now. We're using a lot of a lot of people in the community to get this series done. Uh, Barnstormer, Midway, The Fox, they're all letting us use um, their venues to shoot some of these episodes. Uh, South Simcoe Rebel Rollers are in an episode playing radioactive... Uh, Roller Derby no, girls, yeah. That's gonna be yeah, incredible. Yeah, that's our tribute to trauma. They're already so wild themselves. Oh yeah, they're great. They're 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 a great group. <laughs> they're they're gonna be fun for sure. So Justin, we've got a really quick turnaround time. So we're gonna start filming in March mm -hmm. and hope to release by June. What kind of pressures are put on you? Quite a bit. Actually, this is the first time I heard about that. Actually. Oh, <laughs> uh -oh. I might have got, I might have got your team <laughs> your I team in trouble. Sure, have to go hard. Like you know, like that scene I together uh, this morning yeah <laughs> Nick was like hey, we need to take this. <laughs> and so how long did it take to film the scene uh would that take us a few hours like yeah a few hours, hours. We were there yeah. till, like four in the morning okay yeah. but I that's not even that like that scene is like what a seven minute scene like that's yeah, just a case of what's right. happening right there right yeah okay so you get to see more of this handsome fellow yeah so oh, talk yeah, to me about chef. your talk to me about your role John <laughs> Best role. <laughs> Best role. <laughs> no, I, I play Loomis, who is a cook who probably uses some dubious ingredients no. in which, well, probably, <laughs> you know, I won't commit to anything at this point. Uh, and, uh, and he's a little uh, bit of an oddball, strangely enough, that uh, everybody else seems to uh, put up with. So, oh, I see you here. What, ah, what, there we go. What ingredient is nice. that? That's uh, that's uh, be some a real. Bone. Yeah, that'd be a real bone too. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, I won't uh, claim what animal it's from. But no, it is a real bone. <laughs> who did Loomis? Uh, who do we pay tribute to with the name, the character Loomis? Well, the the name Loomis, of course, um, comes from Loomis from Halloween. Mm -hmm. um, who also has like a goatee beard and he's bald, so I have the hat and. You know, I'm covering up. My so I still have, yeah, I still got the scar like Loomis and Halloween does as well. Uh, a little bit of an accent, but not much of one. Uh, it's it's more of a, a look and name tribute, and the character kind of goes off in a different uh, path. But do you have any in insight uh, as to where the character is going to go, the character development, or does Nick sort of like, this is your character, you're going to do it, crack I, the whip? No, I didn't have to no. do that at all. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that there's there's some freedom there. I mean, there's certainly um, there's certainly lines to follow, but right from the beginning, I was told, you know, we could ad lib a little. And uh, even on that particular day of shooting, we um, had a couple of instances where I, you know, I just turned to Nick and said, "Hey, I, you know, what if uh, what if you think if I do this yeah. or that?" And so, yeah, I have a certain amount of uh, direction involved. So, one of the best scenes we got was uh, ad libbed from John. And it was a great, great scene. Great scene. So, Justin, what's it like for you as your first real role in a TV series, working with this guy? Oh, it's awesome. It's the best, actually. That was probably one of the insights that I had when we were when we started it. I met the guy, and I was like. This dude is going to be one of those guys that I'm going to just, I'm going to love. And it's, uh, as soon as he started doing his scenes and I just heard him do accent stuff, I, I looked at Nick and I was like, man, let, let me 
let me just let me just try something. Here. <laughs> like, if you hate it, you know, you can bury me later. It's fine. But I was like, let me let me just try something here. And I walked in doing my first scene and just did an accent. And you just, and you just kind of you looked over like this, and you just saw everybody go like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your accent's much better than my accent. Yeah. My remember, accent's remember, more just like, gravelly. You know. in, in essence, it was, he's like he's an inspirational person to work with. You know what I mean? He kind of inspires you to, you know. And for me, like, like no, I'm serious. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to gush. But I mean, like, it's uh, it's it was for me. For me, it was one of those like. Uh, it, it was my first acting experience, you know what I mean? It was it was cool to be able to walk in there and not feel uncomfortable in an unfamiliar environment. You know what right. I mean? Like I'm so used to playing like shows and like my like my band some desirens we play at the fox lounge and stuff you know what i mean so like that's so you're not a stranger to the stage you know yeah exactly the stage. I'm, I'm no stranger to being in front of a crowd of people and making myself look like a fool or a goof or anything you know what i mean like i'm totally fine with you know being a jokester but it's i think what it really came down to is the comfortable aspect of working with somebody like him and oh, being nice. able to like walk in and be like hey he's he's just going with it he's just feeling it and it was neat to be able to just kind of hey man let me do this. All right, yeah, if I don't like it, I'll tell you. All right, cool. You're going to love it. And I think that's what's so interesting. The dynamic here is that you guys are already family so quick. Uh, yeah, oh and yeah. you've, you've all taken different paths to get here, but somehow everyone got connected. Absolutely. Um, and that's what... It, what is particularly important to you, especially with the the, the funds that uh, you make from the premiere, all going yeah. back to a, a something that's really close to your heart. Yes, yes, we had uh, two crew members before this uh, even started. Before I even started writing a script, uh, Jason Gordon and Ashley Shiner. Jason passed away at 23 in August of sarcoma cancer, and Ashley passed away um, two months later in October. So all of our proceeds are going to go to the uh, Can uh, Canadian Cancer Society, more specifically for people who can't afford their medications. And uh, yeah, we're just going to give it all away, take our money, put I it into the series, and then... I like it. It's really touching, away. and I think you, you're going to get a lot of people who want to be involved just for, for the, the charity aspect. For to, sure, yeah. To give back. Now, if we're interested in joining the team, can we do it? Absolutely. We're always looking for people. We're looking for extras. We're looking for creative people. Anybody who wants to be involved, it's, like I said, very community-based. You can get a hold of us on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash rep to 705. Uh, we're on Twitter. <laughs> we're we're everywhere. You're we're everywhere. Yeah, we're social everywhere. media, you got it. We All do right. a lot of street team stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, some bombing. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Uh, let's do our best zombie Im impersonation oh. to go to break. They, they throw oh, the there hitch. you go. <laughs> 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 Stay with us, guys. Lots more coming up on daytime. Yeah, something like that.